post-pandemic, do you think that science has taken a battering when that people have lost a little bit of faith in scientists as a result of, you know, things that people said, for instance, you know, that people were saying, well, you know, if you take the vaccine, it means that you can't pass it on the virus. And then that turned out not to be true. Now, obviously, I'm not asking you to comment on that, but just... Do you think that people are now just a little bit more skeptical of scientists, a little bit more untrusting? So there are a couple of uh, loose edges there. So let me, let me uh, uh, explore that with you. All right. So first, um, no single scientist ever communicates the truth unless they are communicating a consensus of observations that have been made. And unfortunately, I don't have a better word than consensus to use in that sentence. Because typically when we hear the word consensus, it relates to a, a shared opinion about something. In science, it's not about opinions, it's about the results of experiments. And if you have a set of experiments, most of which lean in this direction instead of that direction, it's like, hey, we're on to something here. And I'm gonna go with the consensus of those observations and experiments. And they have nothing to do with the individual, okay? So what's curious to me is we live in an era where you can channel surf on YouTube. Is that what it's called? Just surf on YouTube. <laughs> They're not channels, I guess. You surf on YouTube and you land on somebody who says, the mainstream thinks this is true. The establishment thinks this, but here's the actual truth. You're all in on that. Okay, now, but why are you all in on that? Uh, and there's something about the lone genius that we wanna, we wanna snuggle up to them rather than the faceless establishment because that person is speaking passionately. And our response to fellow humans speaking passionately is well known in the advertising industry. They could just show you a bar chart of why their product is better than everybody else's. But no, they have a person saying, I use this and it changed my life and it'll change your life too. That's what you listen to. You, we're blind to the statistical representation of reality. And I'm, okay, we're human and do I complain about that or just try to navigate that? I don't know. I do know we're not very good at thinking statistically about the world. Okay, the, and, and if we were better at it, no one would play the lottery. Okay, <laughs> just let's understand that, all right? And we have people who exploit this ignorance exquisitely, and they're called casino owners, okay? They're exploiting the fact that humans fundamentally do not understand probability and statistics, okay? So that's, a, that's an education problem, and that, that gap manifests in adulthood with our susceptibility to others who do know the statistics, who then exploit your ignorance of it. That's, that's my first point. Another loose edge is we have institutions and people representing institutions where science research is conducted, okay, or conducted under their auspices. The National Academy of Sciences the, in the United States, the National Institutes of Health, and the UK surely has corresponding agencies to this. Here's a problem. How well do they know how to communicate? Okay? We're not, tr as scientists, we don't take graduate courses in communication and how people will misthink what you say or, or, or how they will, how you'll try to say something in a way that, no, 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 none of them are trained in this. So now we have people in a once in a century pandemic trying to communicate science to the public. Okay, I don't want to call it a total disaster, but there were parts that it was like, no, no. So with the benefit of hindsight, let me say how it should have happened. Okay, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States, here's what they should have said. They should have said, here's what we know today based on a set of uh, uh, research results that have come in, okay? And you don't focus on one researcher, there's a, the ensemble, okay? Here's what we know, and based on this, we recommend that, okay? Based on this, we recommend that. 
we will update you weekly on what we have learned because this is a hot area of research. And as research comes in, if it continues to reinforce these results, we will continue to urge you, you do these things. If we find research that does not completely agree with that, it might have, we will tell you that. And we will be honest about these uncertainties, okay? And we will only make a, 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 a federal level requirement when we have the statistical confidence in the research that has been conducted. That's how it should have unfolded, but it didn't. Th that sounds so good, Neil, but we were so, so far away from that, weren't we?